Welcome to the East Asia by Rhodes Murphy chapter summary podcast at the historian's eye. Please subscribe, and if you'd like to be notified when new episodes appear, click the bell icon. Chapter 17. Imperialism in Korea, Vietnam, and Southeast Asia. Section 1. Introduction. Korea up to the 19th century. The Yi dynasty ruled over Choson for five centuries, for most of that time being a tributary of China. Korea had adopted such Chinese institutions as the examination system, the use of Chinese characters, and the tenets of Confucianism. The Choson capital was at Korea. Korean society remained hierarchical. The Japanese invasion under Hideyoshi weakened the Chozon government. Section 2. Rejection of Foreign Ideas The Chozon government was against Western influence, including missionaries. Korea thus earned the title of the Hermit Kingdom. In spite of its attitude, Christianity spread, and missionaries became the conduit by which Western culture entered Korea. Western learning was called practical learning in Korea. At court, both pro- and anti-Western feelings were voiced. Tiger hunters emerged, attacking foreigners. A peasant rebellion in 1862 and 1863 was largely a reaction to poverty, but was also aimed at foreigners. Tong Hak, or Eastern learning, emerged as a religious cult. Founded by Cho Che Yu, 1862 to 1864, the movement combined many religious sects and magic, but was also anti-foreigner. Like the Taipings, he gained a peasant following. The Confucian hierarchy was dismissed. After his death, the movement took a more radical direction and was put down with Japanese assistance. The Taiwangon or Grand Prince, ruled from 1864 to 1873 for his minor son. Reforms were implemented, intended to bring back the Yi dynasty culture. The Korean response to Western power was, quote, talk to my big brother, unquote, in other words, China. Foreign contention for Korea. Japan had long been in contact with Korea. The Japanese had the right to trade at Pusan. The Meiji Restoration gave Japan new ambition. In 1866, the American ship, the General Sherman, sailed toward Pyongyang without permission and was attacked. An American fleet was sent to Seoul, in part to seek an apology, but this contingent was also attacked. Failing to extract an apologies, the Americans attacked, destroying forts and killing 250 Koreans. The Americans withdrew and the Koreans believed themselves victorious. In 1875, Japanese who landed from warships were fired upon. Tokyo used this to demand an open-door policy. In 1876, the Japanese fleet sailed to Incheon and forced a treaty on Korea. The treaty was similar to those Westerners had earlier forced on China and Japan. The Taiwangun raised an anti-foreign riot in 1882. China and Japan both sent troops. Korea was forced to pay an indemnity to both countries and the Taiwangan was held in China for three years. The Chinese Li Hongzheng tried to impose his self-strengthening method on Korea. Li oversaw relations with Chozon and in addition he negotiated treaties between Korea and Western powers hoping that such agreements would mitigate Japanese dominance. The far-right Min family was left in power, particularly Queen Min, halting any changes. Some Koreans felt Japanese influence would bring about positive changes. The Japanese staged a coup in 1884, but the Chinese commander Yuan Shike rescued the king. The Lee Ito Convention settled the affair, and both China and Japan agreed to remove their troops. The Tong Hak movement flared up in rebellion again in 1894. China and Japan again stepped in, with Japan beating China. 
Chozon was declared independent, and the king took the title of emperor. However, Korea was now clearly in the Japanese sphere. The Japanese formally annexed Korea in 1910, coming under Japanese control. When Japan defeated Russia in 1905, Korea became a Japanese protectorate. The Japanese murdered Qing Min in 1895. The emperor was forced to abdicate and his son installed. President Theodore Roosevelt admired Japan and agreed to stay out of Korea. Japanese now held most government positions. After the Japanese resident general in Seoul was killed in 1909, Japan took over completely, created the province of Chosen. Korea under Japanese rule. Japan ruled in Korea from 1910 to 1945. The rule was particularly harsh. Living standards fell very low. Koreans were forced to take Japanese names and the Korean language was suppressed. Koreans were denied education and relegated to the worst jobs. Assistance to Japanese domination emerged even before 1895. After 1895, the resistance increased, but Japanese suppression was brutal. Violent encounters were frequent. Feelings were exacerbated by the devastation wrought by the Japanese on forests. In 1919, to coincide with the Versailles Conference, with a special appeal to President Wilson, a peaceful march ended in the death of over 20,000 Koreans. Subsequently, Japan rule relaxed a little. In this climate, Christianity was more popular. Missionaries founded schools and hospitals. The first post-war South Korean president, Syngman Rhee, 1875 to 1965, began in a mission school. Marxism appealed to others, with the Korean Communist Party being founded in 1925. The Legacy of Japanese Rule Animosity remains. Koreans were forced to live on inadequate food supplies. The comfort stations made sexual slaves of Korean women. French Indochina In the 1860s, the French conquered Cambodia and the lower Mekong River Plain in southern Vietnam, which they called Chochin, China. Later in the 1880s, the French began the conquest of all of Vietnam. Vietnam appealed to China, but the French defeated the latter. Some Vietnamese Christians supported the French because of earlier persecution. French rule varied by area. Annam and Tonkin were under French protectorate. Chochin, China in the south was ruled directly by France. In Chochin, China, village councils were eliminated and landless peasants were the result of agricultural reforms. In the 1920s and 1930s, new religions emerged. Kao Dai combined elements of many religions and practices. Hao Hao was reformed Buddhism surrounding a prophet healer. Hanoi became the base of French rule of Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. A heavier tax was levied, with state monopolies on salt, alcohol, and opium. The French developed roads, railroads, canals, and harbors. Some improvements of education and health care came about. The French helped promote Vietnamese culture from the second decade of the 1900s. Vietnamese mandarins benefited from this, since Confucian ideas were also promoted. At the same time, France in the First World War recruited 80,000 Vietnamese. In sum, the French kept the Vietnamese out of colonial government. Section 3, The Rise of Vietnamese Nationalism The Chinese Revolution of 1911 inspired Vietnamese against colonial rule. The Vietnamese National Party was established in 1927, following the Chinese Nationalist Party model. A planned uprising against the French led to the suppression of the VNP. Members of the party fled to China and took part in Vietnamese politics in the 1940s and 1950s. The Indo-Chinese Communist Party, patterned after the Chinese Communist Party, 
led an uprising in 1930 and 1931. The Kaodai sect emerged. The Russian Revolution of 1917 and Gandhi's success in India were influential in Southeast Asia. At the same time, World War I led to disillusionment with Western civilization. Many Vietnamese students studied abroad, a powerful source of new ideas. Pre-Nationalism Phan Bo Chau, 1867-1940, represented the ideology of resistance. He organized armed resistance to the French. The Chinese national movement and Chinese communists heavily influenced his thought. Fan Fu Trinh, 1827-1926, on the other hand, advocated peaceful reform. He pushed for the use of Vietnamese characters in vernacular writing. He was exiled to Paris after a rebellion in 1908. Vietnamese nationalists have followed one or the other of these two men, but only in the 1920s did nationalism really appear. The 1920s. The 1920s were a period of great economic, social, and cultural change in Vietnam. French investment was high. Newspapers, magazines, books, and pamphlets were published in much greater numbers, helping the formation of a common identity. The so-called Constitutionalist, or Vietnamese serving on colonial councils, pushed for reform, especially a constitution. Bio Quang Cho went directly to Paris with no success. In 1926, unofficial gatherings for the death of Phan Chu Trinh brought the next generation of Vietnamese activists. Communism and nationalism. What took place in China had a major impact on Vietnamese development. The Chinese nationalist and communist parties allied against northern leaders. Moscow sent agents to help with these efforts. The future Ho Chi Minh was sent from Moscow. He had lived in Paris, a founding member of the French Communist Party, and then worked for the Comintern from the early 20s. Beginning in 1924, he organized a group of Vietnamese in Guangzhou, who spread the message that capitalism and colonial rule were part of the same evil. Anti-colonial groups had already appeared in Vietnamese territories. Ho Chi Minh was forced to leave in 1927, but he represented the Vietnamese Communist parties before the Comintern in 1929. The Vietnamese Communist Party brought together the Vietnamese parties. The Comintern did not approve of this, pushing for broader membership. So in 1930, the Indo-Chinese Communist Party was founded. The Vietnamese Nationalist Party was formed in 1927, inspired by Sun Yat-sen. This party aimed at the overthrow of French rule. However, it was easily infiltrated, and most of its leaders were arrested. In 1930, local uprisings were effective in evicting French administrators. The Indo-Chinese Communist Party organized local councils in the Nghe Trinh Soviets. The French suppressed these Soviets by the next year. The 1930s were relatively peaceful, the French restored King Bao Dai. Other reforms had no real results. Some students returning from Paris were Trotskyites. They published the paper La Lutte, or The Struggle. This group succeeded in having its members elected to the Chochin Colonial Council, but were not allowed to sit. Culturally, the 1930s saw new literary movements, including one based on a theory of self-strengthening. The government coalition included Socialist and Communist Party members. The Indo-Chinese Communist Party re-emerged. However, as war approached, France declared war on Germany and the ICP was outlawed. World War II When France fell, the Vichy government worked with Germany and Japan. French Indochina leaders sided with Vichy and Japan against bases and supplies in Indochina. From 1940 to 1945, Vichy supporters in Indochina were forced to gain the support of the Vietnamese and others. In this complex situation, the Japanese were generally perceived as more oppressive. 
Ho Chi Minh appeared on the Sino-Soviet border in 1941. He organized a movement, the Viet Minh, to achieve independence. The Viet Minh worked through the war to gain adherence. In 1945, it was clear that the French were about to join the Allies. The Japanese interned the French. The short period of Japanese dominance in the early Pacific War began to undo Western imperialism in the area. The Japanese were able to defeat the Western powers, yet the Japanese were disliked equally, and independence was possible. Most Southeast Asian countries gained their independence shortly after the end of the war. Indonesia gained its freedom from the Netherlands in 1949. Two Vietnamese states won their freedom in 19